Hello, I'm Michael Leeds. The International Trademark Association, in cooperation with the International Institute for Conflict Prevention and Resolution, CPR, have created this reproduction of a dispute being mediated. We will see how, through mediation, even the most difficult conflicts can be amicably resolved. And not through compromise, but rather through a voluntary process, guided by a mediator, in which the parties work out their own solutions, based on broader issues, in which they can end up even better off than they were before the conflict began. Our dispute involves two alcoholic beverage companies. Wanda Bransky is Russian, with a large, mainly Russian business. Alcopops is an American multinational corporation. Alcopops is preparing to enter the Russian market with Kick Octane, a vodka brand sold widely around the world in this distinctive eight-sided bottle in this red, black, striped label. But before Alcopops sales began in Russia, Wanda Bransky quickly adapted their old Pico Bello vodka brand to Pico Bello Octave in this horizontal red-black striped label and they placed it on the market in an eight-sided bottle. Well, a dispute has arisen with allegations flying in all directions. But both companies are members of the International Trademark Association and the CPR Institute and the two presidents have agreed to meet to try out a non-binding mediation process. Either party is entirely free to walk away at any time. There is no pressure on anyone to agree to anything and the mediator is not there to make decisions. He's a mediator, not a judge, not an arbitrator. And if the parties want to find their own solution, well that's entirely up to them. Let's see what happens. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy that you're here in Munich. I hope you had a good trip to Munich. Would you please introduce yourself shortly? I'm Peter Tchaikovsky, President and CEO of Wanderbrunsky, Russia, leading manufacturer and marketer of the alcohol products. I'm Alex Pushkin. I'm Peter's attorney. My name is Didi Cruz. I'm president of Alcopops, Inc., based in Chicago. Marsh Driver. I am here as counsel for Alcopops. Very well, thank you. My name is uh, Peter Miller. I'm from Munich, uh, Germany, and uh, I'm your mediator. I would like to introduce you very briefly into the mediation process. I'm not a judge and I'm not an arbitrator. So actually you are negotiating and uh, I don't decide anything. I would prefer to have a joint session first where we exchange uh, the items we would like to discuss and I would like to ask each party to present their case. Okay, as Peter said here, we are a major player in the Russian alcohol market. We have this leading brands, Zinitska, Spartakska, Dynamovska, top of the market vodkas. We also have Picabella, which is high volume. Well, we recently decided to relaunch our brand to make it more tuned to the public demands. We had an excellent registered trademark, Octave, and very opportunely, we do have a license from you people. You remember 1992? You granted us a license to use this eight-sided bottle, so we decided it would be a good idea to have it. So anyway, we are launching this product now, and now what do we learn? You come here with this Octane product. Not only this product erodes our market, it infringes our precious Octane brand. And what do we see? You now send us an email saying that we are actually infringing your trademark, saying your trademark is well known. We all know that Paris Convention applies to the territory of the country. You've never been trading in this country before. I don't know if we're looking at the same set of facts. The uh, Alcopops um, company is certainly well known worldwide. They're the fourth largest 
uh, spirit provider, distributor in the world. High quality product. The Kick brand is virtually worldwide in its distribution uh, and in fact uh, has been sold in the Moscow duty free shops. The uh, eight sided bottle is famous. It is the signature of the company, the source identifier for the goodwill that our company has worldwide. When we came out with this, you came out with this. Unbelievable. The labeling is picking up on all of the goodwill and fame of our clients' brands. We have issues with respect to Octave. We believe that that was abandoned by virtue of the lack of use. We don't believe that that license is effective after it sat for so many years. Nothing about it is enforceable. We've asked you to withdraw your product. So, Mr. Pushkin, could you shortly summarize the legal position of Alcopops? He thinks that our trade race violates the trademark, which they think is a famous trademark. He believes that their trademark is well known under the Paris Convention. He believes that the color design is a specific feature of their trademark and we are copying their color design. And from what I understand, he thinks that the license which they gave us for the eight-sided bottle is not valid. Thank you very much. Mr. Schreiber, could you shortly summarize the position of Wondobransky? Wondobransky is the major producer of premium brands and the Picobello brand is popular. It is not the premium brand. We would call it uh, perhaps a lower price point product. One of the primary positions uh, you took was that the Paris Convention would apply with respect to fame only in the territory uh, of uh, dispute. One point I was making that the Octane brand is as fringing our Octave brand. Okay, what's now very interesting and what I need to know uh, for the uh, mediation process are the uh, business interests you have in the Russian market. If you, Mr. Tchaikovsky, could explain to me what are your intentions in the Russian market? We decided to relaunch Picobello in due course according to our business plan. It was done not to, in any way to impair the sales of my opponents in Russia. But rather, it was a stroke of genius in our marketing people. We decided to use this octave word and uh, musical notes on it. So we used the new design, we relaunched, and we did nothing wrong. We have a license, valid license for eight-sided bottle, and we have a trademark registered in Russia for octave word. I simply don't understand what the other side wants. Mrs. Uh, Cruz, would you please explain your intentions, your business intentions in Russia. Alcopops is one of the world's largest sellers of beverages and spirits and well known everywhere, including in Russia and including to Mr. Tchaikovsky and his company. They've had Pico Bella languishing in the standard brands market and now they're trying to copy us, trade on our goodwill They've taken a bottle shape, which is a distinctive, famous shape that belongs to us, and resurrected it from a dead license that we contend isn't even valid anymore. Used that, used a color scheme on their label, which not only is shown with notes and the term octave, but you'll note that on the back of their label are stripes. They're trying to elevate their cheap, not bad <laughs> vodka by trading on our goodwill, and I think that that's bad faith. No, 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 I think they don't understand the uh, alcohol market, and I think they're crazy. They don't, they don't understand. Oh, How absolutely. can you say we don't understand the alcohol market? Alcopops is one of the world's largest sellers of alcohol, much bigger than Wonderbransky, I might add. Could be they, the we're US, here because here. your company deliberately traded on our goodwill and acted in bad faith. If you ask me, they're nothing less than cheap pirates. No, stop. Please stop that, Mr. Miller. Stop. I don't want um, her yes, using these um, words. If she uses yeah. these words again, I Lady out of this room, out of I this mediation. Immediately, you're here immediately. I don't like it. Bad we, faith. Uh, I no, we very well understand going that to do you it are in the first place. upset. I understand that the feelings are running high. So I would um, propose 
that we um, adjourn into a private session. It's okay to get upset in a mediation and business disputes can be upsetting. The parties have expressed their feelings and emotions and now the mediator begins to help each side to identify their critical business concerns. I would like to reconfirm that everything we say now is confidential unless you authorize me to tell it the other side. So I have to know the business issues, you know. So, Mr. Tchaikovsky, could you inform me about what are your main goals? Okay. Well, Peter, before I start, um, you know, they don't understand whom they're talking to and it, it's outrageous. I want an apology. You can write it down in your uh, notes that I would like an apology from her because it was her who asked me to participate in this strange process of mediation. I want an apology. That's it. I understand. So, what do you think about the complaints uh, Alcopops has? You know, I've been practicing trademark law for over 25 years and I could tell you they have absolutely no legal ground. Besides, we are in Russia, so they're trying to sue in Russia on our home turf. They don't know what they're doing yet. Well, I just would like our rights to be reinforced. Uh, that's all. So what do you think are the intentions of Alcopops? Through the grape wine. We heard that they are trying to do a deal with Vladivod, which is a competitor ah, here. Uh -huh. I know. Okay, yeah. It's an old uh, Russian uh, yes, destiny. They want to you know, trade in our market. They want to push us from our market. You know what they are doing now? They are launching this Octane product, Kick Octane, mm -hmm. yes. and they are trying to sell it at a higher price than they're doing it everywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. We think that our market is somehow threatened by Kik. You are afraid that uh, Kik might uh, introduce into the uh, premium and super premium market? Exactly. By the way, Peter, it's confidential. He promised not to yeah, tell right. it to sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Yes, Kik uh, Octane is uh, threatening our Dynamovskaya, which is lower segment of okay. premium market. Mm -hmm. However, uh, they have something else. They have high-octane brand. which high will, octane uh, yes. Yes, if they introduce it in Russian market, it will be a disaster. But don't tell it anybody, okay? I understand. Okay, so this is your main concern? That's my main concern, right. Yeah, I think it's, it's dangerous. We don't want high-octane ever enter Russian market. What do you intend with the uh, new Picobello brand? Well, Picobello has always been our business. It's a big volume business, mm -hmm. and it's sort of engine of our business. I think it's perfect time for Picobello to mature into a premium sort of vodka, um, and I think uh, we did all right, and we were within our rights. You have the value for money brand Picobello in the lower priced segment, and in between the premium and the value for money, we have the standard category. If I understand you standard. right, uh, your intention was to have a brand in the standard category. Yes, I think we needed to fill in this gap between uh, premium and standard, so we did uh, what was right for marketing. Do you uh, have any interest outside Russia? Yeah, we got some uh, nice uh, new brands, uh, which are extensions of uh, existing brands, mm -hmm. which are coffee-flavored, uh, red-hot chili pepper-flavored vodka. So I would like to know your intentions with the new sort of vodka? We think about distributing these products outside of Russia. Potentially we, are, we might be interested in that. Is there anything you told me now which is not confidential, which I may tell them or ask their opinion to what you said? Yes, tell them that uh, I need apology. You know, I am represent a very serious company. It's 33% uh, Russian government owned. I have to keep face. For the moment, I think that's it. We already uh, explained to you everything. Okay, so I propose I will talk to Alcopops now. The mediator repeats the process with Alcopops. Note how he encourages Alcopops to realize that not all issues in dispute are of equal priority to their business plans. What do you intend to do in the Russian market? I intend to sell Alcopop's Kick Octane Vodka. Mm -hmm. We belong in Russia. We're everywhere else in the world. 
That's our business objective. As I said earlier, it's incredible that they did what they did. And it's a very emotional thing that we've got going on here. But they use our eight-sided bottle with a pulling out some dusty piece of paper from a prior management to try and leverage us against our own worldwide famous brand. I, I clearly understand, you know. I, I need to know more. I mean, what are your real intentions in Russia? Why do you now do the big launch? Because it's vodka. It's the world's fourth largest selling vodka. We'd okay. like for it to sell even higher. Now this is confidential, of sure. course. Yeah. But Russia's pretty much the only market, the only good market for vodka, okay. where we aren't already selling our our Kick Octane brand, our Kick Vodka generally, on a, on a wide scale basis. And we need the legitimacy of the Russian market to really make it the top, top brand that we think it is. Okay, and I understood that you, you are using a Kick Octane worldwide? We do use Kick Octane worldwide. Yeah, so course. what if, if uh, they succeed with your trademark infringement? I mean, what happens? It would be devastating to have to market only in Russia without our Octane label, where otherwise we're selling worldwide with that Octane label. Sure. And uh, what about uh, high octane and classic? Do you intend to, to take those as well into the Russian market? High octane isn't going to get us as big a bang for the buck as octane will. And frankly, I'm not looking to launch right now any lower level brand than, than our, our, our octane, which is our best seller. I understand. And uh, the, the get up you have, you know? It's critical. It's really not even negotiable as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Okay, so you want to have in Russia an exclusive market for the, the get-up and the eight-sided bottle. I mean, this is really vital for you. That's correct. It's a package. Okay. We're going to be there, one way or the other. I mean, of course, we still have to get a, our distributor arrangements in place, but that you're, will do. Yeah, that you're, we'll you're, be you're able to do. Distribution arrangements. You know, the mm -hmm. Russian market is a special market, as far as I know from, from my German perspective, you know. Uh, it could be that you might encounter difficulties. Or what, what do you think if you encounter difficulties with uh, the Russian government, which is a co-owner of uh, Wondobransky, on your distribution channels? Well, you know, the, the Russian government's no pushover. Um, that's, that's, that's an issue. But, but are you suggesting that, that, that we do business with them? I'm not sure I could trust them after no, no, what no, they've no. done. That's your decision. I'm not suggesting anything. You know, it's your decision. I was just wondering because Wanda Bransky have, uh, as far as I know, uh, very good distribution channels and they might uh, feel insulted or they may do something against a second distributor um, distributing similar or the same products in Russia. Yeah. What would you think if, if, if Wanda Bransky starts uh, selling their, their super premium and premium brands in the United States and elsewhere and making a competition to your, to your uh, high octane and octane. No. I of course wouldn't be happy about that, but no. I think our business interests will turn more on us making the sales we need to sell in Russia and the rest of the world because okay. we are confident we can compete at the levels where we are in okay. the market. So may I uh, shortly summarize, you are most uh, interested in uh, the Kick Octane uh, right now to distribute the Kick Octane in the Russian market mm -hmm. and for you it's very important to have the uh, two-tone stripe and the get-up with the eight-side bottle. That's correct. I would propose that we join again. I would like to outline the major topics of interest. Together now, for a second joint session, the mediator seeks the party's confirmation that he has correctly identified the following key issues in dispute as a basis for a proposed discussion agenda. 1. The entry of Alcopop's octane and high octane into the Russian market. 2. The use of the octave trademark on Wanda Bransky's Pico Bello vodka. 3. The issue of Wanda Bransky's license and continuing use of the three-dimensional trademark, that is, the eight-sided bottle. Four, the issue of Wanda Bransky's use of the bottle get-up, the two-tone stripe label design. Five, the question of which brands are placed in the standard segment of the Russian market. And six, the question of Pico Bello's position in the value-for-money or standard segment of the Russian market.
Do you have anything to add? Those are certainly points that we've raised. Yeah, at this yeah. stage I think that's accurate description. Do you have any ideas on these six issues or do you want to discuss ideas on the issues in private sessions? Mm, we think we are more comfortable discussing this privately first. Yes, I, I think we would agree with I that. Agree. Having confirmed that the issues he has identified are the ones in dispute, the mediator meets with each side separately again to look for three things. He helps them to assess risk. Okay, since we have now made a list of uh, topics we have to discuss, well, are you sure you will succeed in the trademark infringement case? I mean, what if uh, they just drop uh, Octane and uh, start with a kick trademark? Without they high Octane or Octane, you know, just use the kick yeah, well, label, which is worldwide right now. Yeah. If they delete the word, obviously there is no case. Yeah. I mean, because yeah, there is no infringement then. And, and what, what, what if they start uh, in, uh, intruding into the uh, premium and super premium market? Well, definitely it's going to be a danger for our business. Yeah. It's going to be a, a disaster. He looks for business priorities. Okay. I have this uh, list of topics uh, we made. Uh, we have these six points. Use of octane and high octane in the Russian market. Use of Octave on Picobello brand. The three-dimensional trademark and the eight-sided bottle, the license contract. The fourth one is the two-tone striped label. The fifth one is the brands which are placed in Russia. And the sixth one is in which market Picobello is used. I would like to go through these six points and try to, to find out what are your most important concerns. Okay. The first topic we have is the use of uh, octane and high octane. And connected actually is the use of octave and uh, picobello. Is it a, a very important issue for you to use octave and picobello in the standard market? Yeah, I mean, is this a major interest or is it fifth interest, you know, first, second, if we can uh, evaluate it a little bit, assess right, uh, it? Uh, well, yeah. let me tell Peter what are my main concerns. Uh, okay. I don't want high octane to enter the um, the market, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and uh, if they still launch high octane in Russia, we will keep and fight for this Picobello octave mm -hmm. to the end, right? Right. But if they will not launch high octane in Russia, we will uh, make a concession on Picobello octave. Mm -hmm. Can I put a four or five Picobello of less importance? Right. Picobello has been problematic for us because we have image of premium vodka producers in Russia and Picobello is cheap vodka. Okay. So frankly, we would be happy if somebody buys it from us. It's not our strategic interest to keep Picobello octave in okay. Russia. This is confidential. Yes, of course. We so just, just let me repeat. The use of high octane, which means introducing into the premium and super premium market, this is your major concern. Exactly. Okay. So then we have use of the three-dimensional trademark, the eight-sided bottle. And actually, the second point is use of the get-up, the two-tone right. stripe. What is more important, uh, the eight-sided bottle or the stripe, you know, the get-up? I'd rather drop these um, stripes. Okay, so yeah, you want absolutely. to continue with the eight-sided bottle? No, let's uh, theoretize first, uh, further. If they would like to get this eight-sided bottle, we might give it to them, but for well, big, big money, bottle. for big, big money, they need to pay us big. Yes. You would agree in terminating the license contract by certain uh, payment? Or it has to be something equivalent, I mean, in exchange for something in tangible. In exchange for something big, yes. And he also looks for opportunities for gain that he knows about, even though the parties do not. So the Arkapops kick octane, well, they started using it in, in the Russian market. Would there be any idea you have how you can profit from Arkapops in any way? They are eroding our market. They are encroaching on our market share. We could sue them and get the damages. Watch how Wonderbranski's president quickly picks up a critical and valuable feature of commercial mediation. 
that it's about the business, not the law. Well, yeah. again, I'm a business person. I understand difficulties of getting into a legal battle. So I think that some concessions need to be made. Now, the most important for me is the distribution rights in Russia. Uh -huh. You're a leader in the Russian market, and I was thinking whether you would offer your distribution channels to Alcopops. What do you think about it? Right. In case they um, persist with their kick um, product in Russia, we would like to get distribution rights in Russia. Uh -huh. And we would like it to be exclusive. I mm -hmm. think we are in, in our rights to demand higher than average margin, okay. exclusivity, and no minimum volume commitments. And no high octane in the premium, super premium market? And distribution rights of kick in well, Russia? Ideally, ideally, if they enter market with high octane in the very end, uh, we would like to have distribution rights to this as well. Ah, okay. So you would be happy with high octane as long as you doing the distribution. Yes, so as long as we get yeah. distribution rights, yes. So thank you. These are the, the, the four major points. No high octane in the Russian premium, super premium market. Distribution rights of kick in Russia. Use of the three-dimensional trademark, the eight-sided bottle. But octave is number four, so it's not so okay. important. Right. And I would say I would like to talk to Alcopops. And which of these four points do you think are confidential? You don't want high octane in the premium and super premium market? I think we can tell them that. Yeah. Then the distribution rights of kick in Russia? Mm. Yeah, you know well, what? This is like an offer. It's a bit of oh, uncomfortable no, 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 at that stage. No, no. Could you no, let's suggest let's it, to it to yourself them. as it comes from you? Ah, yes. Yes. He would be pleased to suggest the idea as if it were his own. The mediator now goes through the same process with Alcopops and asks them to prioritize their goals from one to five. Okay, so may I shortly summarize. You are most interested in kick octane, to distribute the kick octane in the Russian market. This is the, the major interest. And high octane classic might come later. Mm -hmm. Very well. I would like to make a, a ranging, like assessing what is more important for you and what is less important. So would you be able to try to range these points, the use of octane and high octane in the Russian market, the use of octave on the Picobello brand. Then we have the three-dimensional trademark, the eight-sided bottle, and also as a fourth point, the use of uh, the get-up, you know, the two-tone stripe maroon, okay? The word trademark, Picobello. What is more important? I think for us, the key is the use of octane, so that we can distribute kick octane mm -hmm. vodka. High octane really isn't one of our goals right now. Exactly. We cannot have Pico Bello out there using octave. There's just going to be too much likelihood of confusion. The eight-sided bottle? Our bottle is really one of our key indicia of source. I mean, mm -hmm. That's how the customer on the shelf distinguishes Absolutely. our bottle from all of those other bottles mm -hmm. that are just your standard round bottle. So, so the bottle is, is critical. Mm -hmm. So this is an issue I can uh, give a one maybe, like very important? Uh, I would say a one or a two. So you would say uh, it's more important than octane? <laughs> slightly more important, but, but not much more important. Okay. But so slightly more important. If I had to give on anything, and, and I'm not saying that I'm ready to, I think if we talk about the label for Pico Bello, we don't want stripes, we don't want our color scheme, but I might be willing to let them use a two-tone color scheme as long as it didn't so closely approximate ours. Okay, so maybe I can circle the two-tone issue and uh, give it a uh, five? Like least important? Yes. Okay, and no eight-sided bottle. That's what I understood. Okay, and the last point we have is the use of Picobello. I mean, are you concerned about Picobello brand in any market? That's not a problem. It's when they change their label and start to use the sub-brand Octave that we have a problem. Okay. In fact, I think that they should assign that trademark to us, their Octave trademark. Give it back Good to idea. us. Give us the right. license for the bottle. Give us the Octave trademark. Yeah.
Okay. Are you willing to pay something for the Octave trademark? I couldn't sell an outright payment for the mark to my company, to my board of directors. Is there something else we might be able to do that we can give them in value? Because they're not going to just give up the license. They're not going to just give up the mark. Unfortunately not. Um, maybe there's something we can do. Because I was thinking, you know, Wonder Bransky, they have huge uh, distribution channels in Russia. Well, we haven't finalized our, our other distribution arrangement. So you would consider Wonder Bransky to distribute your Kick Octane vodka? Well, it, if they would back off from this entire marketing scheme that they've done, I might be willing to think about that distribution arrangement. But there's no way I could go in that direction if they're still out there with Octave. Okay. And um, they've got the connection with the government. If they back away from their bad faith conduct and we can get what we need to distribute mm -hmm. our... Yeah. I have to admit okay. they have an excellent distribution network. But this is what you would give in exchange. You would exchange the Octave against the distribution uh, arrangement. Or, or production. Or yeah. production. Time now for a crucial joint session. Okay, we are back in the uh, joint session and uh, I had now a, a further opportunity to understand each slide. One of the classic roles of the mediator is to articulate as a neutral third party what neither side is willing or able to propose directly. Remember, Wanda Bransky asked the mediator to express an offer as if it were the mediator's idea. Watch what happens when the mediator does so. Okay, I would like to summarize what I was entitled to disclose. I understood Alcopops have no difficulties with Picobello brand as a trademark with having a two-tone label dissimilar to red color and no stripes. You do like the eight-sided bottle which you would like to keep on your branding. On the other hand, you still want Picobello brand in the uh, standard market, but you are not too keen on the eight-sided bottle and the get-up. And actually, this is why we might start. Is this okay? Do you have any further proposals? You pretty neatly summarized it, as far as we are concerned. I'm encouraged that you're willing to give up any pursuit of that eight-sided bottle. That's very important to us. However, we also would need to clear the way for our sub-brand, our Octane sub-brand, to freely be distributed throughout Russia. Exactly right. I was thinking, you know, during the break, before uh, when you came in, I was thinking you're a leader in the Russian market and you have no distribution channels yet. I was thinking about whether you would offer your distribution channels to Alcopops. What do you think about it? Well, I would never think about this before. I don't know what, what, what you think. Sort of um, uh, a hard decision we gotta get the push back. to make because uh, I would never think before. But now uh, as we are moving closer to each other, I would offer you um, to use our channels yeah, well, uh, to distribute uh, um, kick uh, vodka in Russia right. on um, uh, several conditions, which is exclusivity. That means you you don't use another some other distributors, only us. Uh, no minimum volume, at least from the beginning, for the beginning, as well as margin a bit higher than uh, average on the market. What do you think about it? I mean, what? We'd like to see the license come back to us or be terminated and your Octave brand trademark registration be assigned to us. In exchange, I think we could think about pursuing distribution. Produce and distribute? We know it's a bit that premature, I think, to discuss production. No, I think, I think, think it's, it's okay. I, mean I think as business people, we need to think further in the future. We may be able to discuss that because obviously you have knowledge of the Russian market more right. than we do, perhaps. We might think about the production, manufacture the kick in Russia, 
Yes, we have uh, wonderful facilities, you know that. We can go with a uh, minimum volume if you uh, bring manufacture on shore. So in production Russia. is more important? Well, it sort of cements our relations together. There may be some economies you for you and some economies for us. You no, know, I understand that one is the issue is a high importation tax. Local production is cheaper. You know, you don't have to pay the importation tax. That's correct. If we agree on that, we will simply re renegotiate the license agreement, right? The Isn't license right? agreement, we, we would be, we would need to have the eight-sided mm. bottle be used only for the kick octane, yeah. that and not right. for the pico bello. Is it, that what yeah. you? That, that's is what that what I you mean? In, in other words, or we would retain our ex absolutely. exclusivity for our famous yes. design. Talking about distribution, we got some nice new brands, which are extensions of existing brands, mm -hmm. which are coffee-flavored, uh, red hot chili pepper flavored vodka. So the flavor type uh, vodka. You should uh, try it sometime. Yeah, you should try sure. it. It's yeah. very nice it's vodka. Uh, just super. We think about distributing these products outside of Russia. And for these purposes, apparently we need somebody with experience and with huge distribution network. Can we also ask you whether it's possible to distribute our brands, flavored vodkas? We could consider it maybe a trial basis, not worldwide. That's such a big venture. We could try one country, maybe the U.S. Uh, I think U.S. Is, is, is a good start. Okay. So maybe I shortly repeat the major uh, points we have. Yeah. So uh, you will uh, drop the stripes on the bottle and uh, get rid of the uh, two tone and uh, the red. The mediator color. summarizes the essential aspects of the deal. Okay, perfect. So I wrote this down and then I would like you two to sign the agreement and everything else is taken to the lawyers. So, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very happy. I guess we have a good solution. I think and, so. um, well, I hope you will have some uh, progress in the future, maybe together, and uh, hopefully very successful. Statistics show that over 8 out of 10 business disputes settle quickly once the parties have chosen a non binding mediation process. Why is it so successful? Well, as we just saw, the mediator was able to dig down into the very roots of the problem through his discussions with the parties. He was able to calm the situation when tempers boiled over. Then, using his unique understanding of what the parties really want and need, and not just the claims and positions that they've expressed publicly, he was able to guide them to their own mutually attractive solution. We just saw some really important features of successful mediations, such as how the mediator ensured that the parties were always in control of their own destiny. All he did was to control the process. We saw how he used confidentiality, first to get to the president's real business interests, and then how those business interests prevailed over legal and technical argument. And we saw how new value was added into a relationship which previously had either not existed at all or had been overtly hostile. The International Trademark Association and the International Institute for Conflict Prevention and Resolution, CPR, encourage all businesses everywhere to try mediation to solve their conflicts. There's nothing to lose, and as we just saw, the gains can be far more than anyone imagined.